31, I had a question coming out of section 5.4, number 13. And here we were asked to use long division to divide. Um, so they want us to find this division, right? So they, uh, it says use long division. And for me personally, if I wasn't told specifically use long division, I actually would have used syn synthetic because this on this divisor here, the lead coefficient is one. And anytime the lead coefficient is one, I tend to use synthetic division. But for example, if this had said, let me change pen colors here. If this had said like 2x minus 3, I actually would have definitely used long division. Um, if Again, if, if it hadn't been specified, but let me erase all this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and use long division. Let me change my pen color again. So I, I put my divisor here, right? I put my dividend here. And then it's all about lead terms. So what I mean by that is the lead term here is x and the lead term here, again, in my dividend is 2x cubed. So what do I need to multiply x by to get up to 2x cubed? Well, that would be 2x squared. And then I'm going to take this, this term and I'm going to multiply it to both terms of that binomial, right? That divisor is a binomial. So when I do that, again, 2x squared times x gets me 2x cubed. 2x squared times 3 gets me 6x squared. Now I'm going to erase most of this because it gets a little crowded all too fast. So let me just delete what we have going on here. So I've multiplied that out, and then I have to remember to subtract those terms. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, that goes away. That was by, by design. 3x squared minus 6x squared. we got to remember to distribute that negative to both terms. So 3x squared minus 6x squared is negative 3x squared. All right, so then the next piece I want to figure out is what do I need to multiply x by to get to negative 3x squared? Again, it's always these lead terms. And what I need to multiply x by to get to negative 3x squared is negative 3x. And then again, just like before, I'm going to multiply this to both terms in that divisor, and negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times 3 is negative 9x. And then I have to remember to subtract that entire term. I'm going to distribute that subtraction to both terms in that binomial. So 3x, excuse me, negative 3x squared minus a negative 3x squared, well, those cancel by design because subtracting a negative is positive. I've got negative 4x minus negative 9x, so that's going to be positive 5x. All right, now let me go ahead and, again, erase what I've got so far because it gets really crowded really quickly. And then the next thing I need to do is what do I multiply x by to get to 5x, and that's 5, and the same thing happens. I'm going to multiply 5 to both terms and by my binomial. I get 5x plus 15 when I subtract it. Actually, everything goes away, so we, we have a remainder of 0. All right, so the quotient, and let me, let me, again, I keep erasing, but it gets super crowded. Our quotient is up here. It's actually 2x cubed minus 3x plus 5, and the remainder, oops, excuse me, is 0. And that's what they were asking for us to find, right? Use long division to divide, specify the quotient and the remainder. So again, quotient, remainder, and there we go. And just as a side note, if I had done this with synthetic division, I just find it so much, ooh, I don't know why that went away. Let me go ahead and put negative 3 here. Um, and then our lead coefficients were 2, 3, negative 4, and 15. And then I can just do this. Right, so negative 6, negative 3, 9, 5, negative 15, boom, 0. And then I know that since I started with the cubic, this is going to go to a quadratic. So this is 2x squared minus 3x plus 5, remainder 0. All right, so I personally prefer synthetic division in this case, but the direction said long. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.